NBA legend and music DJ Shaquille O'Neal is bringing his Base All-Star Music Festival to Fort Worth this weekend. So the show's expected to draw about 13,000 people to Panther Island Pavilion. That's tomorrow. And organizers are letting people who live nearby know that, you know what? We got the noise situation handled. But the fans want him to turn it up. You know <laughs> they, they do. do. Turn it up. Well, let's find out what's going on by checking <laughs> in with Fox 4's Dion Anglin. Hey, Dion. Hey there, Heather. Uh, that is right. It is a big festival shaping up right now. In fact, as you mentioned, thousands are expected. Two stages, more than a dozen bands are in the lineup and all of that, plus one very important issue being addressed. I got it all under control. The setup happening at Panther Island is big, but that matches the host. Are we ready? Seven foot one NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal. A music festival similar to this massive event, the Pro Basketball Hall of Famer put on earlier this year in Ohio is coming to Fort Worth this weekend. This is Saturday night, right, this festival, so it's a one-day festival that goes from 4 to 12. It's called Shaq's Base All-Stars Festival. Thousands are expected. The Tarrant Regional Water District and the City of Fort Worth have collaborated on the event mainly for one huge reason, controlling the noise. There are areas that we cannot go above as far as the sound level. A pretty big issue with the number of residents within earshot of the pavilion. Some mitigating steps have been in the works for weeks, including the dynamics involving the sound system speakers. You're looking at, you know, ways that you can basically turn those speakers where they're positioned that can really cause a, that community impact and sort of take those levels down. As well, the show's producer has a team of people who will roam nearby neighborhoods in an effort to keep Keep the anticipated looming large festival within the legal limits for noise. But it's basically that you have a team that is driving around to neighboring areas that is checking those levels to make sure they're staying under. Now, in addition to all of that, there is a hotline that is set up for residents to make reports if they believe the sound level exceeds what is allowed. Again, this is a one day tomorrow, Saturday from four in the afternoon until midnight. It should be interesting. That's the very latest live. Back to you, Heather. Dion, this whole story has just tickled Steve. He's just like, what happens if they do go over? Is he going to pay up? I mean, so many questions. Yeah, and, and it's such a short <laughs> concert, too. Noise police. Just a one-hour festival. Right? No, gosh, all day long. We need joy. We need a party. All right, Dion, thank you.